single sit to stand exercise. So like the sit to stand exercise, where you lean forward and stand up, pressing through the legs, we're going to do that same action with one leg. To do this, the easiest way usually is if you're going to be putting the work onto one side, say your right leg, then you bring your left foot forward. How far forward makes more work? So you could start by going a quarter of a foot. As you get stronger, a half a foot. Three quarters of a foot, meaning the foot length. Or all the way forward. So the more forward, the greater the work is going to be onto the other leg side because this can provide less support. So you choose your starting place. Then just follow the same rules as sit to stand. Leaning forward, keep length through the spine, hearts open, press down through the heel, keep your knee aligned to foot and standing up nice and slow. Sit back down, the same way with control, not going flop. Also remember to breathe, stand tall and then sink back down nice and slow with control. You really feel the work in the thigh, the glutes, around the ankle. Once you've done enough reps on one side, you do the second side in reverse. So your left foot goes back, your right foot goes forward. The amount that you need to create the strength. And then we do the same principle. Up and down. And remember, as you get stronger, you could take that foot further, meaning more work and load goes into that leg that's backwards. Remember, the work is on the back leg. The key thing to remind yourself here is that if you start to lose control, the knee wobbles, that probably means you've gone too far forward and you might need to bring the foot back a little bit until you feel that good control. This is a single sit to stand exercise.